Hey, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to create gold material. It's actually really easy, really simple. If you want to download more materials, I've got a Patreon, so you can check it out. If you come, if you become a member, you can download all the materials, all the scenes, all that kind of stuff. Link in the description. Feel free to check it out. But let's jump into the video. So first thing, Shift A mesh. Let's get a UV sphere. Actually, no. Sorry, let's get Icosphere. Doesn't really matter too much, but I just prefer UV sphere. Click here, right, shade smooth, let's bring it up, make it a bit bigger, go to shading, shift, zoom in, then make sure in cycles. So boom, boom, click here, and then there, and then there. So we can see what we do and then hit new. Okay, so first thing you want to do. Is go shift A, get a color ramp, plug the color into the base color of the principal PSDF, then go shift A, top in Voronoi, and then plug the color into the color ramp. And then what you want to do is just bring this here, get a noise texture, so shift A, noise, plug the color to the vector. Then what you want to do is click on noise texture, hit control T. And if you don't have the node wrangler add-on, so if nothing happens when you do that, click here, boom, preferences, and look for node, check it, save it, and then plug the object into the vector. Then what you want to do is change the scale of the noise texture to one. Detail bring up to about 10, then roughness, Make it about 0 0.9. Distortion, we have to about 3.4. Then what we want to do is change these colors so we can get the color we want. So click on the black one, bring this up, make us like a brown, and then the white one to like a gold. And then just bring this back. You want it a little bit brighter, Click here. Something like that looks fine. Then what you want to do is go down here and just zoom out, bring this down, get a shift A, type in color, get another color ramp, plug the color into the metallic. And then what you want to do is bring the slider in, so the white slider, bring this in, and look how nice it's starting to look. Then same color ramp, what you want to do is click on it, hit shift D, Put that here, bring this up, bring this up, and plug this into the roughness. Boom. Then what you want to do is bring this white one, something like this, and bring the black in to the middle. Look how nice it's starting to look now. Then what you want to do is go Shift A, get a noise texture, plug this in here, click on the noise texture, and hit Control T. Change the object and plug it into the vector. Then what you want to do is change the scale to one. Just zoom in so you can see better. Detail, let's bring it up. Somewhere like that. And roughness, let's also bring it up. And then the distortion, 1.4. And look how nice it's starting to look. Because it's not you don't want like perfect gold. You know what I mean? This looks nice. And then the last thing we want to do, so let's go down here. Bring this down. And go Shift A, get a bump node. Plug the normal to the normal of the principal BSDF. Now what you want to do is go Shift A, get a color ramp. Plug the color into the height of the bump. Now what you want to do is get these top nodes, so these four, drag over it, hit Shift D, bring it down, put that there, zoom in, and then plug the color of these into the color ramp. And then the last thing you can do is if it's a bit too strong, just bring the strings down, the bump. Just make it look a little bit better. 
and there we go that's your gold material and it looks awesome i think so what i'm going to do is create a thumbnail if you don't want to watch that you can click off the video so feel free to check out the patreon and i'll see you next video peace if you're going to stick around let's do it so click here boom and what we're going to do is go to x g bring it up yes let's scale it smaller and go shift a get a plane so mesh plane s scale it up tab click here boom e to extrude click here control b to bevel tab right click shade smooth let's go to camera change this 1920 by 1080 let's go here while let's bring this up G, let's bring it down and then S scale a little bit. Okay, camera, let's zoom in a touch. Perfect. Now, let's go here. Looking good. Yeah. Get a HDRI. Boom. Boom. And then let's just get this background going. So it doesn't need to be anything too crazy. Go here, basics. Let's try this. No. Yeah, this looks good. Change the scale. And there we go. I might just zoom in a little bit more. Go to X, boom. Yeah, let's leave it like that. And then just hit boom. Change this to 300. Performance, 256. And then I render. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe, check out the Patreon. See you in the next video. Peace.